Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I actually have three bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now, 10 here, this is the same thing as 9 plus 1. So if I substitute in 9 plus 1 for 10, I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 plus 1, in this case, a would be 2, m would be 9, and n would be 1. So I'd have a to the power of m, so 2 to the power of 9 times a to the power of n, so 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 9. Now, because both of these terms have 2 to the power of 9 in them, I can simply factor out 2 to the power of 9. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 9 is simply just 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 9 divided by 2 to the power of 9 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 2, so I have 2, two to the power of 9 times 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so I have 2 to the power of 9 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now, we can actually go ahead and simplify this. So 2 to the power of 9, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 plus 5, right? And remember, if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 4 plus 5, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. Now, 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. And 2 to the power of 5, this is 32. So I have 16 times 32. And I can actually just go ahead and do this here. 32 times 16, 2 times 6 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 3 is 3. So if I add these together, I get 512. So this means 512 is our answer. Alright, so we have 2 to the power of 18 minus 16. Now, 2 to 18 here, this is the same thing as 9 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 16. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. And now, because both of these are to the power of 2, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 9 and b is equal to 4. So I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 4. Now 2 to the power of 9, let's go ahead and solve for this. So 2 to the power of 9, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 plus 5. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 4 plus 5, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. Now 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. And 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So I have 16 times 32, which is equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 4 times 512 minus 4. Now 512 plus 4 is 516 and 512 minus 4 is 508. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite these. 
I'm first going to rewrite 516 as 500 plus 16, and I'm going to rewrite 508 as 500 plus 8. So now, multiplying these two is simple. I first distribute the 500. 500 times 500 is 25,000. And, sorry, 250,000. And 500 times 8 is 4,000. Now I distribute the 16. 16 times 500, that's going to be 8,000. And 16 times 8, that is going to be 128. Now I'm going to add all of these. So 8,000 plus 128 is 8,128. And 8,128 plus 4,000 is going to be 8,000, or sorry, 8,000, okay. So I have 4,000 plus 8,000 plus 128 is 8,128. And now I have 250,000 plus 4,000 plus 8,128 is going to be 12,128. And now 250,000 plus 12,128 is going to be 262,000. 128. So this is our answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. So 2 to the power of 20, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 10 times 2, because 10 times 2 is 20. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2 this can be written as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. And 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3, times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now 2 to the power of 10, let's first go ahead and solve this. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5 plus 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 5 plus 5, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 5. Now, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32, so I have 32 times 32. And I can actually go do, do this right here. 32 times 32, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So I have 64 plus 9 is 60, 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 6 is 12, so I'm going to carry the 1, and 9 plus 1 is 2, or sorry, 10. So I have 1,024. So now, because 10, 2 to the power of 10 is 1,024, I have 1,024 plus 3 times 1,024 minus 3. 1,024 plus 3 is 1,027 times 1,024 minus 3 is 1,021. Now I can go rewrite this as 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 plus 21. And now it's much easier to solve this. I can first distribute the 1,000, so I have 1,000 times 1,000, which is equal to 100,000. Or sorry, 1 million. And 1,000 times 21 is 21,000. Now distribute the 27. 27 times 1,000 is 27,000. And 27 times 21, let's go ahead and do that right here. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. And 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So now if I add these, I get 567. So now this is going to be equal to 
1 million, 20, 21,000 plus 27,000 is 48,000. One, so 1 million, 48,000 and 567. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now, 2 to the power of 100, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 99 plus 1, because 100 is equal to 99 plus 1. So I have 2 to the power of 99 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 99. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 99 plus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 99. Now, from here, because both terms have 2 to the power of 99, I can go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of 99. So now I have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 99, simply 2 to the power of 1, and negative 2 to the power of 99 divided by 2 to the power of 99 is negative 1. 2 to the power of 1 here is the same thing as 2, so now I have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, so I have 2 to the power of 99 times 1, and anything times 1 is itself, so I simply am left with 2 to the power of 99.